Yeah. Uh, talk to me kind of about the reason behind that and why you stayed on the field, why you wanted to stay on the field. Yeah, I know a coach friend wants to get some work in. Um, you know, no matter who we play, he wants to get better every week. So um, it was a big time, um, even though we were up some, to, to get some work in and get better, um, have some more film to critique and, and some things to fix. Um, I did some good things, some bad things while I was in there late. Um, so there's definitely some stuff I can work on. But uh, really just to get some work and get prepared. Um, it's still early in the season and get prepared for the rest of the season. This fight last week's loss, I mean, so far this season, it seems like the offensive line, while you guys have a ton of, ton of things to correct, you guys are producing a lot and getting a lot done. Just talk to me about the overall play through three games and then yeah, I think we've done pretty well. Um, gotten better every week for sure. Um, and that's a big key to us is we want to get better every day, every week. Um, and it's also a big attest, uh, attest to our, our running back that um, our running backs, you know, we have a stable of them. Our quarterback play, um, they're all doing well. Everybody's on top of their game. So um, they make our job easy and they make us look good. Now, touchdown by Sonny Michelle, great kind of wheelbarrow. Have you ever seen that before? Uh, I've seen versions of it. I don't know if I've seen it quite like that, though. See it yeah, I was actually on the sidelines for that, so I saw uh, Greg carry him in the end zone, and I don't, I don't know how legal that is, but uh, it happened, and a uh, great heads-up play by Greg and got him in the end zone, and uh, it, it was pretty fun to see. And one of the things that got talked about in the preseason, just how tight of a unit you guys are from first string to third string, and it just seems like you guys really gel and, and get along well together. Is it different when those freshmen kind of come in and play, or when you know when Watts comes in, or whatever? I mean, how does it affect your continuity from those two guys? Yeah, I mean the big thing is like you said, we do all Joe well. Um, you know when I was, when Coach put Isaiah and I got actually really excited. Um, you know I gave talk to him and I was pumped up because I know what he's capable of so just go out there um, maybe a little bit more communication with those younger guys because they don't know as much to do as, as the older guys but um, um, there's really not much of a fall off and those guys can really play really well um, so for them to get the experience is awesome and uh, I love playing with them. You're one of the older states on the offensive line what changed when, when Hudson went out Bryce came in when Bryce went out when Faitone came in you know, what's the difference between those guys in the huddle and, and how they come in? Yeah I mean they all have poise and confidence which is um, a bigger testament to them um, uh, Bryce came in, he did really well, slung the ball around, his confidence in his calls, um, declared. Same thing with Fatone, he came in. We know we know there's a little different package sometimes when Fatone comes in, he's capable of running the ball. So um, when Fatone came in, we knew that was that could happen, but um, Fatone as well, very confident, very poised in the huddle, and um, they both executed really well. Did you get a chance to 